You're back with a Fox News alert and a live look in West Palm Beach, Florida, where President Trump is going to cast his early ballot at the Palm Beach County Public Library. You can see there people are crowding the area right now to show their support. Once the president is finished voting, he will head to North Carolina for a rally. The president will then hold two other rallies today in Ohio and Wisconsin. Busy day for him, and obviously we will be updating you moment to moment on that voting that's being underway uh, pretty soon, as we hear. But first, we're going to bring in Senator Joni Ernst, Republican from Iowa. She's a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee to weigh in on all of this. Senator, welcome to the show. Ten days till the election, we're seeing so much early voting going on. Uh, latest tally had 53.8 million people uh, voting early. We can put that up on the screen for people to see. So what do you make of these statistics and what do you expect to see on election day itself? Well, I do think it's exciting and uh, we're grateful for the opportunity to have absentee balloting. Iowa has had this system for many, many years and I feel that it will be a safe way for people to cast their ballots. We are seeing a huge number of those absentee requests in Iowa, but we still have a lot of enthusiastic voters that will go out to the polls on November 3rd. You can feel the enthusiasm on the ground in Iowa as I'm sure you can in other states. I do think that President Trump will take the state of Iowa, and I do believe that I'll be able to retain my seat, even though it's a very, very difficult election cycle. Senator Ernst, traditionally, early voting um, has favored Democrats. We should point out this isn't just absentee voting. This is people actually making their way to the ballot box as well early this year. Traditionally, again, that's favored the Democrats. How do you read these record turnouts, almost 54 million people already voting? Well, I think that we also see a number of Republican organizations across the country that are pushing absentee balloting. And this is a different year. We have to remember we are still in a pandemic. And so those that may be vulnerable to uh, coronavirus, they are, of course, requesting those absentee ballots. But again, it just speaks to the enthusiasm this year. It's going to be a hotly contested race. But uh, again, people just want to make sure that their votes are cast and that they are counted. Yeah, you're like no other for a lot of reasons, but in addition to the fact that you're running for re-election in Iowa, at the same time, Senator, the Senate Judiciary Committee just advanced Amy Coney Barrett's nomination to the Supreme Court, uh, paving the way for a vote early next week. What can you tell us? I've heard reports Monday night is the target time for the vote on the Senate floor. You'll be going back and forth. Where are we right now? That, that's correct. And we are taking a number of votes over the weekend, of course, getting ready for Judge Amy Coney Barrett to be uh, confirmed on the floor of the Senate Monday evening. We are seeing a lot of political maneuvers, shenanigans coming from the Democratic leader, Chuck Schumer, trying to draw this out, call it an illegitimate process, which is absolutely incorrect. It is a legitimate process. I would challenge him to show me in the Constitution where it is not. Um, she is a, a brilliant legal scholar. She is, a, of course, a well-respected jurist, a mother of seven. Uh, they can't argue her qualifications, so they're going to try and do anything they can to delay the confirmation vote. But yes, we are set to confirm her on the floor of the Senate Monday evening. Really has, really has gone off uh, seemingly without a hitch. Senator Joni Hurt, uh, Ernst, thank you so much for being on the program. Good luck in your race. Coming close. Absolutely. Thank you. you got it. Glad to have you.